getting a good solid render out of Sony Vegas uh, is very important for being able to get your video uh, uploaded to YouTube and quickly and easily encoded and then made live on YouTube's site. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the settings that I found to be the best uh, for for uh, video encoding for YouTube. So I've got Vegas opened up and I've got my project, of course, and I have selected a loop region and the loop region is going to govern how much um, video I'm going to export. So and so once I've selected my loop region, I'm all set to do a render. So when I decide to do a render, I want to click on project and select render as, and then I want to go ahead and give this file a name. And now I'm going to take a look at the file type and the template that I'm going to use for saving this video. Uh, when you take a look at the save as type, there's a lot of different options, obviously, and you can export a lot of these and upload them to YouTube and YouTube will be able to interpret them. However, um, however, I found that uh, the best container to use for your video is Sony AVC. And the reason that Sony AVC works the best is because it saves to the file format MP4. Uh, that's the container that it will save your video to. And MP4 is the file format that YouTube ultimately converts your video to as well. So what you want to do ultimately is you want to get your saved and rendered video to a file format that's as close to YouTube's as possible because then there's less uh, encoding typically to be done uh, by YouTube before it will send your video up to, to live publish on YouTube. So I've also got a lot of templates, of course, all these different templates come installed with Vegas, but I've made some templates of my own and I've got one here that I've just called uh, YouTube HD. And if you wanna be able to get HD from your video on YouTube, uh, you need to go ahead and adhere to some pretty specific settings. So I'm gonna click on custom and I'll show you some of the settings that I'm using right here. So under video rendering quality, I'm sticking with best because again, I do want the best render video out of Vegas. And from the project settings right here, I can click on the video tab and now I choose the video format and I need to stick with AVC, of course. 1920 by 1080 H, uh, HD, which is the HD uh, frame size. And then profile, I'll stick with high because I do want the best uh, rendered video. Entropy encoding, I'll just leave it CAVLC. Uh, either setting really works okay, but CAVLC typically is the best one. Field order, you can stick with upper field first and pixel aspect ratio. Typically, you're just going to want to be one if you're working with just regular NTSC video. You want to go to just one on your pixel aspect ratio. Um, bitrate, bit rate, there's there's usually some gray area on bitrate. The higher your bitrate, uh, typically you're going to get a better render out of Vegas. However, the higher you go in bitrate, the longer this video is going to take to render out of Vegas. And there's really a nominal difference that you're going to see as you go really high in your bitrate. I mean, you'll notice that I can go up to 20 million and 20 million uh, bits per second. Honestly, uh, for YouTube, you really do not need to be doing that. Um, so typically you want to stay somewhere within the 4 million range uh, for a very high quality video. 2 to 4 million is usually good. Um, so I'm going to stick with 4 million and that's usually going to give you the best um, rendered video, but also not take forever to render out on your system. Then you want to take a look at audio. Audio is important because you do want the audio format to closely match that of what you're working with on your, on your video. Uh, and you do want to keep the audio rate relatively high because if that audio is down sample, sampled, it's going to be very easy to tell uh, on the overall rendered video. So the sample rate that I usually like to stick with is 44.1, that's CD quality, and the bit rate, it's good to go up to around 320,000 because 320 is, is essentially a high quality MP3, and that's very important. Um, so once I've got all of these settings, I can go ahead and save this as a as a template for myself. I've already done that. Just type a name in here, hit save. Um, Vegas will ask if I want to go ahead and save over my template. 
And when I've done all of those settings and I hit OK, now my video file is going to render out to MP4. And again, uh, the amount of uh, time that, that the render is going to take is going to be based on the overall size of your video. And if you are going for a 1920 by 1280 HD video, it is going to take a while. However, when this video is done and I upload it to YouTube, I'm going to find that it's going to fill the frame size of the YouTube video player, which is uh, really important. And uh, I'm going to get also the ability to have that video watched in HD by the viewers of my video. And that's pretty important because a lot of people expect HD out of their YouTube videos right now. And uh, these settings typically, again, they will give you the best YouTube uh, quality, I find. And also with a lot of other players, Vimeo and uh, other video sites, I've found that these work really well. So when you're all done, just hit save and your video will begin to render.